Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Today, we're using the Instant Pot. The electric pressure cooker, the most wonderful gadget in the kitchen. Depends on what you call it or how you like it. Today, we're using the Instant Pot. It's been a while since here in the Plant-Based Gabriel and Plant-Based Bridget Kitchen, we've made some Instant Pot recipes, but we wanna get back on track because we use it every day multiple times a day sometimes, and we know how useful it is, and we want to um, hopefully show everyone how simple it is to use this, because I get a lot of messages where people say, I have an Instant Pot, I got it two years ago, it sat in my closet and I've never used it, and so today hopefully we can show you at least a simple recipe that you could maybe uh, try it out and use it yourself. So today we are making black beans. Today we're making black beans. These are going to be a seasoned black beans. These are going to be for using in Mexican or spicy dishes. You don't have to use these seasonings. You can follow along with just the black beans and the water and get a great result that you can use in a bunch of different dishes. But in our house, um, we normally will cook it a couple different ways. We'll cook them plain or we'll cook them like this. Uh, we always end up normally adding these spices, so it just makes sense to add them when you're initially cooking them. Can I help you? Huh. And it is a cooking day because we do have a baked oatmeal that's in the oven right now that we did a recipe video for. So depending on which one gets posted first, uh, you've been in the kitchen with us most of the morning. To get started on our Instant Pot black beans, we're going to need, ta-da, black beans. We have five cups of black beans here. And I'm right into the Instant Pot. These are organic black beans. Basically, I can tell you about them. All right, next we're gonna add some of our spices. We have two teaspoons of onion powder. This is an onion powder that we made here from the farm, from our own onions. Two teaspoons of garlic powder. And you can go heavier if you prefer. I mean, you can add a tablespoon, a couple tablespoons if you'd like. Now we're going to add two to three tablespoons of chili powder. And about half a teaspoon of crushed red pepper flakes from the farm here, from our own Tabasco peppers. Ooh, that was about a teaspoon, but half a teaspoon. Black pepper, we're going to add somewhere around half a teaspoon to a, a fourth of a teaspoon, excuse me, a fourth of a teaspoon. And some salt. You do not have to add the salt to these, but we have found that when we're cooking for guests or we're cooking for some people who may not eat a whole food plant-based diet, a lower salt diet, it does help to add some salt to your food. So you don't have to add this 100%, but if you prefer, if you'd like to, add around a teaspoon of salt, a high quality sea salt helps. Now for our water, we like to add about two and a half times water to the beans. So if there's one cup of beans, we'll add about two and a half cups of water. In this recipe, we had five cups of beans, and so we're gonna need somewhere around, what is that Bridget? <laughs> about 12 cups. That was eight, we're gonna add a little bit more water about 12 to 15 cups of water. You can never really, you're just gonna have extra liquid. If you have extra liquid, it's not the end of the world. Just understand that you might have some extra liquid. Now we're gonna give it a good stir with a spoon I used for breakfast. Just wanna make sure that all those spices get mixed up nice and evenly in there and they'll cook through. The only issue that you may have if you don't stir is that the spices will sit towards the top and then they'll kind of get stuck on the side and they won't get incorporated in the liquid. So what you'll have is just spices that have been steamed instead of being cooked with the beans, which is what we want. That looks like a nice stock there. I'll tell you what, Bridget. Now here is how you are going to cook it. We're gonna do this. We're gonna take our lid. This is where some people can get confused or where it can get a little difficult. So I wanna go through this easily here. Put our lid on, set it on there. Turn the lid. Now, we're going to turn our valve to the sealing setting. So if you have it towards the front, it will not seal all the way. So push it towards the back. There, there, that's half the battle, everyone. Okay, now we're gonna come up here and we're gonna have it plugged in, obviously, but we are going to press pressure cook on mine. Some of them will say manual. But you're going to press pressure cook and you are going to set it for 30 minutes and you have an up and down arrow for 30 minutes. The pressure cook or the manual setting for 30 minutes and then here's the last tip. You'll have a, it'll kind of go beep or you'll, you'll, 
Don't, you don't have to press a start, you don't have to press anything. Set it for 30 minutes, when it'll reach pressure, and when it reaches pressure, it'll go beep, beep, beep. And then it will begin cooking. When it starts beeping, don't think that you can just pull it off or take it off. When it beeps, that's when it just starts cooking. So for 30 minutes, we're gonna let it cook, and then we're gonna naturally let it release. Rip's crawling all over our, our Instant Pot. She loves the Instant Pot, clearly. But um, that's how you're gonna cook it, and we will be back when that is done. Bridget, can we go plug this in? Can we go plug it in? Yeah, are you done inspecting it? All right, here. Yeah, we'll go pull it over there. We'll go do that, we'll go do that. Here, let's go plug it in. Just wanted to take a quick intermission before we show you how those beans turned out and talk a little bit about our awesome <laughs> clothing that we have at plantbasedkidworld.com slash shop. You can see here the banana t-shirt. We have a ton of garden, fruit and vegetable inspired clothing. We also have some awesome hats like our plant power hat. We have kids sizes, adult sizes. Pretty much if you like a vegetable or fruit, it's on there. And if it's not, let me know and I will get it added to the site for a high quality premium t-shirt. Maybe just for you. But we love you all. And we hope you enjoy those shirts. Now back to the recipe. Well, hello everyone. We are back. We've got our Instant Pot moved from where we cook with it. Pulled it over here. As you can see, no steam left, so it has naturally released, which will take about 30 or so, 40 minutes maybe, after it's cooked all the way. So 30 minute cook time, naturally release, we should be ready to go. Now be careful, when you open up your Instant Pot, you wanna, when you, when you turn the lid and you open it, you don't wanna have it turn so steam will come up at your face. So we're gonna watch how we do it here, very safely, away from our body. Now, if there was someone in front of me and not on the other end of a camera or phone, it would be a little different. So you see how easy that is. And then a little trick here is you can set your Instant Pot lid right on the side there. Great way to go about it. We're going to set it here so it's a little bit further away from dear Bridget's little fingers. What do you think there? It's steaming. It smells delicious. We came, we were outside doing some work. Thus, I'm in my, you know, my work jacket and Bridget's in her outdoor jacket. And so we came inside. The house smelled wonderful. We already have some rice cooked, so we're gonna to top some over some rice here in a bit. But we wanted to give it a try and let everyone know how the beans turned out. You can see there's, uh, I don't know how easily, or if you can see too well here, we'll kind of, the water just goes up to those beans. And so you're not going to be stuck with 15 extra cups of water or of broth, which is a great thing. Uh, but for this recipe, when you scoop out some beans and you take some liquid, you're gonna end up with a good ratio of beans to a little bit of liquid there. And what you want is you want those beans to be well covered when you're starting to cook it, but like when you're finished, you still want there to be a little bit of water covering those beans because if you've been using an Instant Pot for a long time, like we have, uh, you'll know if you've accidentally added too little water or too many beans because the beans will be on top of the water or out of the liquid and they will not have cooked all the way through and that's where you'll have some issues. We did not have that issue here. This looks great. The beans, nice and tender. Here, we'll pop that up there so you can see. It's pretty amazing looking. I mean, it's, this is a recipe that we use. If you know much about us, you know that we live off the simple starchy staples, but that we also are huge into batch cooking. Bridget, I'm gonna blow these off for a little. No, can you, you know, we're gonna, I know you wanted to take a bite there. Here, how about I put that down and I'll grab one. What do you think? <laughs> there was a little bit of a smile there. Not pretty good. You want another one? You can tell Bridget is a fan of our Instant Pot Black Beans. And these go great. Oh, we dropped it. Oh, but it rolled over here. How lucky for us. Uh, this is a great recipe you put on 
put over rice, you put over a baked potato, you put over a sweet potato. Uh, but there's a lot of options there. A simple recipe, one that we really enjoy. Uh, but getting back to the batch cooking thing, we enjoy batch cooking. So what we'll do is we will cook a big pot of black beans like this. Once a week, maybe twice a week if we're really feeling like beans, but normally once a week. This will suffice for us once a week, a family of, well, two adults that are eating and Bridget who will nibble on a few beans here or there. But basically, we'll cook this once a week. I will pull this, and once this is cooled, here Bridget, we can maybe show everyone. I will pull, pull the stainless steel insert out, okay? I can pull that out, I'll set it on the countertop, and I'll let that cool, maybe on the stove top, or even we have this rack you can see behind us there and I'll let that cool until it's pretty much room temperature and then I will pop one of these on you can get these instant pot lids at Amazon we might put a we'll put a link there so you can check them out but we'll put that over top you want to do it once it's cool because otherwise it will suck it in or um, it'll stretch it out so you're gonna have to put it on once it is cool and then you can pop that in the fridge refrigerator excuse me you can put that in the refrigerator and it'd be good for a week and that's what we do and so we have bought an extra couple of the six quart stainless steel inserts so that excuse me while that's in the refrigerator we can put another one in there cook some rice put another one in there cook some potatoes that's a great way to go about it you can get a couple of these so you can always um, if you utilize something like the instant pot as your main food preparation device then it pays to have extra inserts some of these silicon refrigerator safe lids so that you can really get the most out of your Instant Pot. It doesn't make sense to have two or three Instant Pots, but it sure makes sense to have a couple inserts, a couple lids, and a couple ways to utilize that um, for especially a family life that we have. Bridget, do you mind if I, there was not a bean on there. It was just liquid. You mind if I have a bite? Yeah. Amazing, delicious, ready for rice, ready for a taco, everyone. We hope you've enjoyed today's video. We hope you enjoy how simple um, these recipes can be, but also how delicious they can be, how versatile they are, and just how that you can build your diet around some of these simple starchy staples. And if you haven't already, make sure you check out plantbasedgabriel.com for some awesome t-shirts. We have some pretty cool hats as well. Bridget, we also have sizes for little ones like Bridget. You have anything else to add? You just want some more beans, huh? All right, everyone, we love you, and we'll see you in another video soon. You wanna say bye-bye? What was that? You're wiping your nose. Can you wave bye-bye? Bye-bye. Pretend it's a neighbor. Wave bye-bye. Bye! What if I turn you over there and wave at the neighbors? Hey, bye! You're not a very friendly neighbor today, huh? You're checking to see if there's really a neighbor over there before you wave? <laughs> All right, we love you guys. We'll see you in another video soon.